Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage. Overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide, unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here. Work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not at the moment. Think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Anything else? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. 
But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Maybe. Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. You are who you are, Miranda. That's easy. For you. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. It's ironic. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a... That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Commander, what can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah, he's taking it pretty hard. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard, just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. 
At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were twelve of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you, but I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some skilly and five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My skilly and five's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right.
Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jessie. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I'd give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. I was down and out when I found that gun. Jessie was the first weapon I got my hands on. Took her everywhere. She didn't have much punch, but reliable as all hell. She'd already been through a lot by the time I got her. Still, I never had to recite her once. Damn good rifle. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. You and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. What can we do for you, Commander? Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Carry on. Will do, Commander. <laughs> 